Bobo Cloud Launcher, a highly customizable launcher, lots of permissions because it does a lot of things and the settings can be intimidating in the beginning. That's why I would like to show you that in a few minutes you can uh, set it up the way uh, you will definitely like it. So I install the application and as soon as it's installed I will uh, open it on my phone. I'm presented with a selector. This is a two-in-one app which means you can use it on your phone as a home screen widget and you can use it on your watch as a watch face or a mini launcher and uh, this is what we aim for now so I go with that. It gives you a few uh, introductory screens which I encourage you to read through when you install it and as one of the last um, screens tell you it takes a while for the Android operating system to automatically install the Android Wear component on the smartwatch so uh, we will have to be patient there but um, as we start the app it encourages you to contact me with any questions or if you find bugs I'm always happy to uh, help and respond quickly. Uh, this is the main navigation but we actually stay with this main screen and uh, before uh, we start to uh, be able to use it while we wait for the Android Wear component to install I will actually install one of these one click themes uh, which will make uh, setup very quick. So I go to the Play Store and pick this uh, theme one and install it on my uh, phone and watch. It again takes a few seconds but while it's installing we notice that the app uh, is now installed on the uh, watch so I can go ahead and set this watch face. So this is now our watch face um, with the uh, favorites cloud as our watch face with an analog clock there in the in the uh, center of the screen and uh, lots of informational bubbles there uh, shows you the uh, uh, battery level of the watch of the phone we have a one-click access to voice search and so on and when we swipe we get access uh, to the uh, brightness bar there where we can set the screen brightness right from our screen and we have our archive bubbles so the rest of the apps installed on the watch easily uh, accessible and can be started from there but this is just the default look and with the um, theme pack uh, we now gain access to a lot of other very beautiful themes I for example go with this blue theme simply click on it and we get that look on our watches very quickly uh, there you can see the blue background uh, the time in one line a single row and uh, every color is now uh, set to this uh, uh, theme you're not stuck with only these uh, seven or eight themes you can mix and match them if you uncheck uh, the the apply theme settings you will be able to uh, use one font and a different background i think this background even looks better on this watch so i go with that uh, and we can also control the uh, bubbles which appear above and uh, below uh, the clock the time there if we go to the Wear Cloud Editor, it uh, gives us access to these. Uh, let me quickly uh, step through this introductory uh, little uh, legend on the top. And this simply gives us a list of all the apps installed on our watch. I will sort them by size so we can see uh, the uh, bubbles marked with the star is 
are the bubbles which appear on the favorite screen and the bubbles which are marked with the brown uh, marker are in the archive. So uh, we can remove some from here simply by clicking on that uh, icon in front and as I do and synchronize you will notice how uh, the number of bubbles changed there on the screen. There is one useful currently hidden bubble, the log bubble, which I'm also going to enable. Let me show you what the uh, log bubble does. It's a very practical bubble. If I click on it, uh, the the screen will be logged, so no accidental touches will start any apps or uh, change any settings. And we can simply click on this log bubble and then we gain access uh, to everything. So that's, uh, that's the editor there. And we can also change uh, the layout. Uh, it, we, you saw that random cloud of bubbles. Uh, we now see this uh, split view, but we have, you can see we have many others. So I'm going to go with this round arrangement where the uh, bubbles are arranged around the screen and we have the clock bubble in the center. Only a uh, little problem is that uh, now it has a background color which actually matches uh, the background color there of the uh, archive cloud and the bubble colors, the clock colors are not perfect, but we can very easily change that in the watch face card. Uh, you can click on this uh, clock bubble there and it gives us access to the background color, which I'm going to change to transparent and I'm going to change the minutes uh, to a lighter, lighter color, which shows better uh, on this uh, background. So there we have a very different look and you can notice if I click uh, it shows me the ambient screen which uh, takes less energy on OLED uh, screen watches and uh, here we have uh, the favorites cloud. Uh, finally I would like to draw your attention that these are only the basic settings. If you want to control things like uh, the brightness bar there on uh, watches such as the Moto 360 where we have a light meter, uh, you will most of the time want to have uh, the screen in auto uh, brightness setting and you don't so much need this brightness bar. It can be easily turned off in expert mode. If you enable the expert mode, a lot of other options become available. One of them is the brightness control, which I have just turned off. And now if we look uh, there, it is uh, gone. We only have the two clouds.